an extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Hello, my lucky gamers. This is one lucky man playing XCOM Enemy Unknown. I just got this game, and my God, is it amazing! All right, let's choose which uh, base location. All aircraft weapons, costumes, and less purchase. Build and maintain. Monthly XCOM funding increased by thirty percent. In Africa, <laughs> that's weird. Autopsy interrogations are incomplete instantly. Op projects and foundry officer training school cost 50% less. Expert knowledge laboratories workshop cost 50% less to build and maintain. I'm gonna go all in. Oh, <clears throat> maybe the autopsies sound cooler. Um, maybe. That's hard, man. I'll go South America just because uh, I feel like I'd have a better like uh, research and. I'll go faster and all that. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay. Yep. So I bought this game, you know. I just hit 150 subscribers and uh I thought, you know, why not Strike do another one. uh this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alright, I was just letting that guy talk, but anyways, um... I was just thinking, like, you know... Uh, I should do a little Let's Play of this, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Alright. I want to approach this place cautiously, because I don't want to get my face torn off and die. So... We can put a little breaching team up here, and... Have some people to support them. Oh. There we go. This game is super fun and goddamn is it like addicting. I've been playing this game like I at least have like 20 hours in this game and I just bought it yesterday and it's like that's ridiculous. That's honestly ridiculous. All right. Police warrant. Here we go. All right, we'll go. Alien life on earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Well, I'm glad you're thrilled about this, but What's this guy's name? Anistia Nonvikia does not look so thrilled. Fire! Of course you missed. She's from like Uganda or something. She doesn't exactly have the best training. Alright. Come on. Yeah, that's why we have girls in the military, because they can do that shit, man. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Okay. They have a little self-destruct button. That's cute. 
Get behind the counter, man. Get a part-time job. Do something with your life. You'll have a friend here. I like how socially diverse this thing is. We have two guys and two girls. Yeah, look at your dead friend there, man. That's what's gonna happen to you. Well, that guy gave no fucks. He's just like, I'm going all in, man. Fire, girl. That's why we have girls in the military, man. Because they pull off alien uh, bounty hunting well. They're pulling their own weight, man. These guys haven't even been pulled any weight. Jesus. They're getting outstaged by marine girls who are possibly lesbian. Who, who the hell? I'm the commander. They are lesbian. They are going to be lesbian. It's not a choice. Because that's just, you know, lesbian girls team up together, killing aliens. That's got to be some type of fantasy or taboo. Alright, Schmidt. Get into the mission, Schmidt. Oh, knock down that door like a boss. Like a bouse. Alright, Stone. Stone called Steve Austin. Get to cover with uh, your friend there. D don't make any advances though, she's a 9-2 guys. She's only in there for the clit. Clit or nothing. It's a deal breaker. Alien activity. Uh oh. You hear that? Does that mean there's aliens behind me? We should go to the kitchen. That's where girls belong. Right? No, oh, this girl does not even want to be in the kitchen, man. She's just like, you know what? Fuck this kitchen. She's just like, you know what? I'm a man. Woman man. Woman. A woman. And I'll kick everyone's ass who says it differently. This is one girl I don't want to fuck with. That guy just doesn't even have a helmet on. He just dives through the glass. I mean, at least the girl's, like, smart enough to, like, you know, use a fucking boot or something. Oh. There you go. It's a laundry, actually, not a kitchen. Never knew that. The things you learn, man. These girls are really outstaging the guys. Alright. Get to cover on cover. Alright, man. Follow the ladder, man. Follow the ladder. But yeah, I've been I've been like sinking so many hours in this game. Like, I I haven't gone that far. And actually, I my character that I named after myself died. So, so I'm restarting. What's making that noise? I got upload. Oh God. Enemy Ew. It's fucking pot bellies. They're like they're like little uh, Carl Juniors from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. You hear that? I got an idea. It may be crazy, but it's gonna work. Climb up those ladders. Look at that. The the female squad will go up the ladder and provide covering fire for the bulky men and their armor and all that. All right, man. Climb upwards. Ooh, look at you. Can you throw that far? Can you throw it? Throw it, man! Bring you got this out. shit! Yeah, how do you like that? Oh. Turns out he can't throw. He's he's honestly not, you know, a baseball fan. It's okay. You got this, man. 25% chance to hit? You got this. Okay, you, you really, really, really not Damn upstaging it. the girls, man. Getting your ass, like, handed to you, honestly. Oh. Oh, don't panic. What a coward. 
Both the guys panicked. Oh. This isn't right, man. This isn't right. Calm down. Dude, seriously? These girls are fucking carrying these guys. Look at them. They're like carrying, they're like crying behind the corners and shit. These girls are like, whatever. Aliens? Don't care. Show me where to shoot. Throw a grenade. Hoorah! Hoorah! Don't know if that did anything, but you know, it looks cool. That's all that matters, right? Oh god. The guy's still fucking freaking out. Now he has no cover to hide to, he's scared. Alright. Are you all good, man? Alright. This looks. This guy look cool, right? Throw the grenade, buddy. Because we all know that you're not gonna hit that shot. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Good work out there, Strike One. If oh I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay, I understand, Doctor. But I mean, just saying, like, those, those two guys there, they're pussies. So, you know, they had to throw the grenade. Plus, the grenades look cool. I don't care what you have to say, Doctor. Oh, it's the world. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Thanks. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support Look for those arms and those keeping fingers. you briefed on the current like situation. sausages. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll okay, to it. I'll promote them. It better be one of the girls, because the guys didn't pull any weight. They sat there carrying, you know, their rifles in their hands and crying. Commander, to the research lab. Everyone gets one besides Gary Stone, the guy who freaked the fuck out and shot. No one. Promotion? Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Alright. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Commander All right. to the research labs. Commander. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Okay. That, that, you know, it's, it, you know, it makes sense that the, the English man, the American man, pussed the fuck out. I'm talking to you, Gary. And the fucking two natives beat the shit out of the fucking aliens. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alright. Oh, hello, babe. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. I oversee your this breasts. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. I hope this audio comes in correctly, because, I mean, I'd hate my voice to psych is, like, quiet as shit. Alright, what should we get? Xenobiology? It's crucial that we gain through understanding the alien physiology in order to develop weapons and tactics better suited to combating them. Alien materials. Alien fragments. No, let's do, uh, biology. I failed biology, but I'm sure they, they, they got it. I mean, they're paid to do that. Commander, I realize our troops have to put Oh my god, I get the deal. You don't want us to fucking Commander, use explosives. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome Hello, Dr. House. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay. Hello, I'm a big fan of fabricating. I fabricate almost every day. 
unless I, you know, my hand gets tired. Facilities? We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Alright. Work crews on their way to begin construction. I don't know if I've, uh, I haven't told you guys yet, but this game is basically like you have, con you're like a commander, right? Obviously. And you take the the guys in the barracks. Look, they're training. And, oh, it's, it's the two girls. Look at them. Badasses. Um, and it's you versus the alien threat to save the world. It's like a movie. Okay, let's scan. Also, you gotta scan things. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Four engineers. Okay, I could either save Canada, Argentina, <laughs> Argentina, or Paris, France. Let's see here. Canada has bacon. Argentina. I think Argentina is like a terrorist co communist country. I'm not sure, but I'm sure that you know we can help out Canada. Big fan of Canada. Commoda. Commanda. Let's edit this unit. Loadout. LMG. Everything seems all right with me. Let's customize. First name. Strike. Um, right, last name, which, now I'm not going to explain that, but I'm sure one of you, oh fuck, no, where's the Japanese one, is this the Japanese one? They just are all ugly and pissed off. This, is, this one's alright. Solid copy. Yes, Commander. Solid copy. Got it covered. Solid copy. Affirmative. Affirmative. That's affirmative. Good to go. There we go. Let's get some awesome hair colors going on here. I can dig the... I can dig that. And then the shotgun girl. First name. Let's see here. Who will be the shotgun girl for you know what? Gunslinger girl. It's like that anime. Gunslinger girl. Alright. Um Let's get some pink in, in here. Calm down, dog. Oh, it's another girl. She ought to prove herself. Evans. Let's customize him a little bit. Good to go. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Yes, Commander. He looks good. He'll be bald. His name will be Mr. Clean. There we go. Do Gunslinger Girl and uh, Strike Witch. We got like two anime references here. Dropship has arrived. That's like better than ever. 
The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Oh, Canada. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, well, I'm going to stop this right now, but I'm going to keep on going uh, soon. I just need to walk my dog and all that. And um, I'm going to test the audio and see if it's all right. And if it's not, then, you know, tough luck. Um, let's see what we can do after this next mission and, you know, you know, subscribe and all that. See you guys later.